Well, today we're gonna show you the first attempt of us building a piece of furniture. I mean, our first piece of furniture ever. And that's gonna be our wardrobe. I'm Duca. And I'm Roberta. And, and together, together we, we are, are building, building our, our own tiny shipping container, container house. house. So don't forget to subscribe. And to join us every Monday for a new episode. So what we are trying to do is to cut the plywood into smaller pieces because it's just too heavy to work on the circle saw. We just cut these ones. Now we need to cut all this, and then all this. Let's keep going. For some people this might be really really easy, for us it's just terrible. We, are, we never tried to build any house furniture before, we never tried to build anything that needs to be really really precise in order to look good. And this is actually a lot harder than it seems just to make, you know, the cuts. Flush. Flush, yeah, like if we need to have three exactly same piece of plywood, it's just hard to cut exactly the same length because we don't have the shop that you, you know, like. Some people have like a huge table saw that's easier to make sure you, you guarantee the precision. We just mm -hmm. don't. We're trying to do what we can with what we have. We don't complain, we have a lot of tools, it's all good. But we need more tables and more space probably. But this one's good, that's good news. So we have to keep cutting, we have a lot of wood plywood to cut, right? Remember when we said that we were going to use the leftover from the ceiling? That's it. That's some of the laminated that is left over from the ceiling that we are going to use to cover the shelves inside of the cabinets and the sides, the inside parts of yeah, you'll see. Inside the cabinets. Inside of the cabinets, yeah. Actually, the wall. That's it for tonight. Too much work. For today, right? <laughs> yeah. We need to be quick because it smells really strong. Yes. We're just gonna wait for this, not to dry because it's dry already, but it's late. So we're gonna come back tomorrow. We're gonna trim around and then 
we still have some more laminated to do, so we can start assembling the furniture together. It's like 10 30 p.m. now. <laughs> yeah, it's almost 11 p.m. It's about time to go to bed, right? Yeah. So see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> see you. Router time. Yeah. It's about time to take out the excess. Here is because we're gonna have something like this. So that's why we didn't glue all the way. So let's start the fun. <laughs> And easy actually took us so many times to realize that we didn't get along with the router because we were stupid I mean <laughs> amateurs we didn't know there is the right position for the router there we always need to go from the left to the right so against the rotation so in the opposite direction of the rotation if you don't do that it throws your hand away and we did many mistakes now before. We know that. <laughs> now we know. And if you go on the right direction, it's much much easier. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yes. But we have a mess. But yeah. <laughs> but now let's talk. Let's let's talk for real now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Today we have great and bad news at the same time. Yeah. No, that was last week. Today we only had good news. <laughs> What's the good news? We finally bought the wood, and we are the veneer. Yeah. Yeah, we <laughs> wanted to have a part of the furniture with veneer, but we had a, we couldn't decide. We ended up buying mm -hmm. two kinds of wood. So, this one is this one Brazilian walnut, walnut. and this, this one, one is Freja. Yeah, this one. I don't know if we find a name in English. That's the name. Otherwise, that's the Brazilian name. Uh, yeah, this is. From yeah, Brazil. basically, this is a lot lighter than this one, and as this is gonna be right on the bed, we decide for this one. Yeah, there is a lot of pros and cons on this one, a lot of pros and cons on this one. This one is darker, that means it's gonna be less light on the bed. This one has more smell, this one has less smell. Oh, sorry. It's a good smell. Yeah, it's a good smell, but it sometimes can be too much, you know, smell next to the bed. But I like better the look, I know you. Yeah. The <laughs> green of the walnut is much cooler than that one. This one seems stronger, that one seems more fragile. I don't know. Fragile. Yeah, fragile. Yeah. But this one we're going to use for something else on the house in the future. We're going to save this because actually also it's looks beautiful. good. It's really <laughs> beautiful. But for now, that's what we decided on. So ah, and the width is bigger, so we don't need to do any connections yeah. on the work. That's a really good positive sign. And this one. This one we would need to do two stripes. Yeah. And this one can be one stripe straight with our connection. That's way better. So, let's start doing this. We actually ran some tests to try to decide which wood we would like to use. And which kind of finishing. Yeah. So this one is the... Walnut? Walnut. Without anything. This one is with... Stain? Or... Uh, let's just varnish. Varnish. With a sealant, like something to seal the wood before the varnish. And, and this one is with stain and verge. And so that's verge. stain plus verge. And this one is freja. It's the same. With stain, without stain, just verge. So both look really good. Yeah, now let's do this. Yeah. Love that will never need to hide Love will always rise above Whatever comes, we will be just fine If I am yours and you are mine Take my hand and let's fly away To another galaxy Hold me close, I want to feel your love Together we are free 
Just be with me. Just be with me. Just be. Of course, something is wrong. The main problem is that the meter started to glue, touched yeah. the, the base. Yeah, that's the one thing. Contact glue, once it glues, you cannot take off. And by mistake, we let the center of the veneer touch the plywood. And once that happened, it glued. And then we need to stick with it. And of course, it wasn't 100% straight. Now we need to fix that. So we need to somehow glue a stripe here now. But we have good news, the other ones went well. <laughs> yeah, that's the good news here. But <laughs> this one is the main one. But we'll get there, we'll fix this. That's gonna be a fix it, fix up. I don't know if it's gonna work out, but we need to try, right? I'm gonna glue this small stripe that we took from there. <laughs> yeah. That's the advantage of using veneering. <laughs> you can barely see the connection. <laughs> Hopefully. Yes. Perfect. I mean, not perfect, <laughs> but close to it. We saved the piece. That's <laughs> really good. Now we have some other jobs to do. We need. To, we have some trimming. Yeah, mostly some trimming and then we can yeah. assemble this. This is a tricky one, <laughs> like always. This is the center column, you know, the wardrobe there is the right side, the left side and the center. That's the center. We need to position the shelves. shelves. So basically the shelves, instead of being like this, we are gonna, uh, how do you say that? We're gonna have like a groove. Carve. Yeah, carve. We're gonna carve three millimeters so this goes inside three millimeters like uh, how do I explain that you see right now we're gonna get the, the router and we're gonna do like a channel so the shelf can go inside this way it is Yeah. 
that the side of the wardrobe. This is more mistakes gonna be under the bed, so that's fine. <laughs> this other small mistake, we, I think we fix enough. When we paint with the back burn machine. Yeah, so I think we need a, we have a lot of sanding to do, right? Yeah. Sanding it is. This past two days was a mess. It's just so confusing to get the measurements right. It seems so easy when we watch other <laughs> videos from other people building furniture. Just yeah, yeah, just cut, assemble. It's all good. We did so many mistakes. We were like amateurs. I think because we are tired of working long time, like long hours. Like long hours. Like yesterday, we went home at 11 p.m. Yeah, we work until 11 and by 10 I was not thinking anymore so we did a lot of wrong cuts because it's just too late. I think we should not work that late. Yeah. Yeah, we won't finish this wardrobe this week. Sometimes the unexpected happens. Yeah, this week I got sick for one day and we didn't come to work. So we lost yeah. one day of work. She called sick. She <laughs> knocked me on the bed. I'm sick. That's how she called sick. I mean, in a regular job, you call sick, you don't go to work, you don't do what you need to do, and that's it. Someone else do, or you do it later. In our case, if we don't come to work, that means that we don't have a video on Monday because we don't have any video on stock. All we, all we have is the video for the week. That means Usually we start shooting the video for Monday or Tuesday and we have six days to shoot, build, edit and everything in post. So one day I got sick, the other day I was weak and I, I couldn't work so he worked by himself. And tomorrow we need to travel. Yeah. My sister is going to become a doctor. Her graduation is tomorrow out of town, like four hours away from yeah. here. That means we're going to lose another two days. This being said, sorry, we won't finish this. And, and we are working on a hurry and we did a lot of mistakes. This is one of the mistakes. Yeah. He cut uh, a piece more than he should, so we are gonna put an extra piece here to fix the mistake. Yeah. The thing is, she is the brain, <laughs> I'm just the muscle. <laughs> and it's really hard to work by myself when I didn't do, never done this before. It's easier when you have two persons because, you know, I do something wrong, she sees and we fix it. She do something wrong, I say, oh no, no, not like this. So we can help each other and working by myself, I did a lot of mistakes this week. And that's sad, I'm sad. But we are gonna fix that. Yeah, we need to learn, it's just hard to do something for the first time. Seems like here, it's okay. You think it's okay? Yeah. Check it. I, I think we can show them this part next week, right? Yeah. We can show you this part next week. So we're gonna leave the camera, we're gonna pretend we just left and that's over, but we're gonna come back and finish this, but we can show you <laughs> next week this. See you guys next week. But don't forget to come back next week because we're gonna finish this. Or not, I'm not sure. We're gonna try at least. We always try, we try our best every single week. We'll get there eventually. <laughs>